Hello friends. Well, I'm back again. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. And uh, I'm back again with another um, freebie for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought today I'd show you how to make this really pretty page pocket. It can cover a whole page. Now you can make this any size you want. I just simply folded the whole sheet of um, paper over and uh, trimmed to whatever size I wanted it after that. So this is the, um, the pocket I'm going to show you how to make. It's a page pocket. It's got this little flip out part here. And I used um, Little Women book pages in there. I've got my, these are freebies on my website. I just got those stuck in there because they're pretty. Um, and you can see the video on that somewhere on my channel. And that's a big journaling card that just kind of sticks in the in the top one. So you've got a big pocket there, a big pocket there, and then this flip out that is also a pocket, right? So it's really simple and easy. Believe me, I don't get too complicated on anything. So it's kind of a version or variation on the tiered pocket that I did before where you had um, book page and um, digital printout and that kind of thing. So this one is sort of that, sort of. Um, so okay, let's go ahead and get moving along with this. Um, set that to the side. Uh, this is the freebie that's on my website, or will be when I put this video up. <clears throat> Or soon thereafter it's got a pretty pattern of sort of like wallpaper flowers in there stripes and all that and that's a little busy but that's okay because that's mostly the back this side well there's two sheets uh, of the freebie okay so I just double printed print this on one side and that on the other side okay so this one is the one that's going to be our inside of our of our pocket okay so what we do is fold it over just like so <clears throat> and there's your base not too complicated huh <laughs> pretty simple now um, if you're gonna ink I wish try to recommend ink before you start gluing things down it's a little bit easier so I've got my stuff ready over here um, I've inked around this one and I've got my book pages ready and folded I, I love to use the little women uh, book pages because well I like that book <laughs> and I've got one I'm trying to use up because I'm gonna make a big journal for myself I don't usually make them for myself, but I'm going to make, use that as my journal cover. So anyways, I digress. Here we go. These are folded so that you have the tier. Now you can make them a wider in between there if you want. Whatever you want to do. This one I made a little bit wider between. Um, it doesn't matter. However you want to fold your book pages, whatever book pages you have, um, cut them down to fit inside your base your base <coughs> excuse me and then go from there now you may be asking well yeah but how do you get that flip around pocket I'm gonna show you how to do that okay <laughs> because what you do is you mark your page um, three and three quarters on this side on the folded side right just a little bitty mark and then you mark it over here on the not folded side on the open side uh, two and a half inches that gives you a slant okay and no I'm not brave enough to cut that <laughs> with my scissors okay so I will be using a trimmer to do that and then once you get that part done then you can use scissors and just cut up the fold line because you're just going to cut straight up that fold line you're going to open it up and cut the fold line 
right there, right? Pretty simple to do that. Okay, so let's get this cut. Which one would be better to do that I'm going to use this one? It's just sort of simple and easy, right? Okay. I'm going to put it on here and sort of get my lines lined up sort of ish here and here you know what that would be easier to do if I cut the fold line first and that's probably what I did on that other one I'm just <clears throat> it's in the morning and yeah it takes me a minute to catch up with myself okay all right your best prep work, it doesn't matter. You still got to pay attention to yourself, right? Okay, now we've got, it's still, okay. There you go, get it right on that line. You have to be careful with these slant ones. Now, some people would just tear it, and that's fine. If you're a good tearer, I'm not a good tearer. <laughs> I'm not, and I know these things about myself. Oops, that moved. Um, so, some people are, though. They, I've seen people do some seriously good tearing, and I'm like, oh, that just gives me anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just wanted things to work out, you know? So, yeah, I don't do a lot of, you know, that kind of thing. I admire people who do. But I'm not one of them. Because, okay. Now, see what I'm saying? <laughs> that makes sense now, huh? Okay. So, <clears throat> now our base looks a lot different. <laughs> okay. So, what I do with this, let me get my, I don't want my pencil mark to stay on there, of course. I'll, that one's going to be hidden, but I'll just erase it anyways because I'm me. Okay, so now we've got this part that we do have to ink um, and sort of, you know, because I don't know. It's just me. Um, nobody has to ink, okay? <laughs> you know, it's not a requirement, okay? Um, but I like the vintage look, and I like that finished line look that it gives. Now, what I do is I fold this over just to meet its bottom here so that that gives me a sort of a one-sided uh, let me make sure I'm in shot uh, it sort of gives me a one-sided guess it it gives you a little more room in the pockets what I'm getting at okay so and that makes our pocket just a little short like this one just a little short of the edge and that gives you more interest in your pocket or I think it does. Okay. You don't have to do it that way if you don't want to. Okay. So we're going to use the part that we took off to make our back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so what I do is, it's, this is rocket science right here, okay? <laughs> I put this in here and I make sure this is folding over really nicely and it's up there as or you can get it up there and then I take my lovely pencil and I draw around this okay and there so complicated right okay so now I have a line I will use my scissors <laughs> hopefully it won't go wrong you never know with me but here we go <clears throat> and this way you've also got a pattern on the inside of your pocket just in case somebody sees that you know okay now there's our scrap <clears throat> so we double check ourselves make sure our pocket is fitting the way it's supposed to be fitting and I do like to give it a little bit of ink just because and you know what I see a pencil line that will bother me so let me get rid of it okay get some inking done there 
and you know I'm a little weird so I'm going to ink both sides because inside might show outside will show and there you go don't go too crazy with it but there okay so we've got our pocket ready to make now right super simple and easy put that there that there and there you go I'm not uh, I'm not going to use any double sided tape on this because it's just a simple little pocket that's not going to be too complicated right so <clears throat> I'm just going to I'm going to look when you're doing this make sure you glue this part down um, if you're doing it the way I'm doing it because that'll leave a gap in the bottom of your pocket if you don't so you just need that to be down <clears throat> and then you're gonna glue this and this and this not this okay you put your thumb on the not this part then you're doing good okay just a thin line um, or th whatever you want to do you can put a thick line if you want uh, I'm not trying to tell you what to do I'm just telling you what I'm doing okay I put a thin line and then I put it, I line it up as straight ish as possible. Okay? Because it's going to fit there just like a glove because you drew your circle, um, circle, you drew your line around um, there and made your um, pocket to fit. You're back to fit just just so. So it's fitting just so, right? Okay, now we've got our pocket. And we've got a little bit extra room because we made that uh, one-sided gusset. Okay, so we're ready to do that. Okay, now our base is looking a little bit more like this, right? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to put our first book page in we're gonna put the tall one in first and what I did with this now look cut your book page whatever book page you're using whatever size you're using cut it down to where you're gonna meet up here in this corner okay <clears throat> you can leave a little bit over if you want but don't trim your back pocket down too far you want that to be a big one or I do so this is what I do um, I fold it back to meet, you know, there. Just make it like you're going to do an airplane. Just fold it, fold that corner back, and um, well, let me glue that corner down because now that I'm at this point, it needs to be glued down. Um. So yeah, it doesn't have to be like um, a crazy hardcore gluing down job. This is gonna. Um, just you know that's fine it will hold it just to put just a little in there because yeah and you can cut this off but I prefer to fold it over because it gives you a little bit of extra strength there because you're doubling your book page right so get that over and we're just gonna line it up to where we're gonna glue here here and here and here so, all right. Um, and when we put it down, we want to get it as straight-ish as possible. Okay. What did I say? Here, here, and here. <laughs> okay. Thumb on the knot here. Keep it straight. All right. Okay. And just a thin line works really well with this project. Um, do what you want to do. But a thin line works really well with this project. Because mostly you're working a lot with um, book page, and book page will crinkle up on you. Unless you get some really, really thick that's like cardstock, then, you know, go crazy with it. Um, now, this is lightweight uh, cardstock that I have as my base. I find that gives me a little bit extra strength to my project to do that. So, that's what I do. Okay, so I'm going to squash that down real good. Um, 
Okay, we're getting there. Look at this. Now you've got this big pocket here and this flippy pocket here. All right. Now, this one will go in here and it just will make that other. It's still a big pocket. I mean, gosh, that's half a page of pocket. Okay. So we're going to glue down this side here and up here. But first we're going to glue this part down. Now this one I just glued. I just glued. I folded. That's what I did. I folded this part here. I found me a, a line of text and I sort of tried to go with that. Um, and so, yeah, just just fold it to the size you want. It's uh, super simple and easy. And like I said, you don't have to go by any formula on this. It's just whatever size you want for whatever project you're doing, right? So this one's going to go in a, a journal I'm developing. So there we go. And that's going to go here, here, and here. So the knot here is this part. So yeah, glue this down, um, and like I said before, folding it over gives you that extra strength for your book page. Now these aren't really thin, 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 flimsy pages in this book, but it's just better to give yourself a little bit of extra uh, strength. Find your corner and line it up. And then get it straight-ish. And there you go. And squash it down. Now that's not hard. It was kind of painless, wasn't it? Um, okay. So now you've got this. You can... Now I know some people don't put lace on things. Uh, you know me. I put lace on everything. I... <laughs> I put lace and um, little rose trim embellishments on this and did all kinds of stuff to just pretty it up. Like this, you know, lace around this pocket, lace from there down to there, there down to there, and then I put uh, lace there down to there. Just because I think it's pretty, but you don't have to do that. You can just leave it like this. It's pretty like this. Um, and I've got some uh, excuse me I have to close this up because you know my glue will go all weird and wonky on me I've got these these are some freebies on my website you can go get those and do those if you want um, to go there and I just got these little deedy ones here that I'm going to put in the the front pocket now it'll hold quite a bit but I'm just sticking those in there uh, just for Example sake. This is um, a picture out of that little woman. It's an illustrated one. It's really pretty. Um, so I backed it on file folder and I'm not quite finished with it yet, but it's ready to be stick in the pocket. So I thought I would just stick that one. It's a big journaling card. Just stick it right in there. This holds a lot and it's a great thing that you can do. If you don't want it to be a whole page size, um, you know, trim it down and make your pockets a little bit smaller. You've got plenty of room before you get to this pocket. You know, trim it to whatever size you want. It's basically the same thing, bigger or smaller, right? Okay, so there you are, pocket, pocket, pocket. A three-page pocket. Yeah. <laughs> pretty simple, pretty easy, um, and pretty, right? Okay. Well, I hope you guys like this and give it a try. It's just fun to do. It's easy. You saw me do it in just a, just a few minutes. Um, I did have things prepped because I got my book pages folded and I got my freebie printed out. I mean, you, you're going to have maybe 10 minutes of prep work besides what I did here on the video. So it's really easy. <clears throat> um, 
I want to thank you for joining me on my journal journeys and um, having fun with me. This is this has been um, so much fun for me to do, and and I appreciate all my new subscribers, all my other subscribers. I just appreciate all my new friends that I've gathered along my journal journey on these making these videos. It's been a wonderful adventure for me, and I'm grateful. So if you could find it in your heart to like and subscribe, <laughs> um, that would just be awesome. And uh, thank you so much for watching. You guys go have fun with this. <laughs> DTFN. <laughs>